Independence firefighters say a fire that damaged at least two homes today is now under investigation as a possible arson. This all happening near 18th and Tilden around the lunch hour. And 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniels been at that scene all day. So, Ray, what do we know so far? Well, Rianne, and what we know is that fire crews were very active in the scene. It's a lot different than where it was now. But as you can see, there's caution tape up at one of those homes. In total, fire crews battled about seven fires because of this dry and windy weather that we've been having. And fire officials are trying to figure out the exact cause of what started it. Julia Hensley was in shock after hearing her home caught fire. My son called me. I was out doing some errands. It's my day off. And... I probably broke every single speed limit on 40 highway I could. Fire officials believe it started at an abandoned home, then spread to Hensley's and other nearby structures. It was bad. Flames were shooting up. It was hot. It was a hot fire. It was definitely a, it was going. Nearby neighbors were keeping an eye on their homes as well as fire spread. Monitoring the smoldering leaves in the backyard by the tree and and everything, making sure that it don't catch on fire. The inner city fire chief says they're looking at this as a possible arson investigation. Well, we were out here yesterday on some, uh, we had a, uh, a situation yesterday involving the sheriff's department and a uh, subject that barricaded himself. And so there were some hostile feelings, we think, so it could have something to do with this. Uh, and so that's, we're going to treat it as arson. We're pretty confident it's an arson. The state fire marshal was called in to investigate as well. Thankfully, the homeowners and firefighters are okay, but Hensley's five pets did die in the fire. The house is just a thing. It doesn't bark, walk. My dogs do. And I think God right now is just holding me up and telling me it's going to be okay. Now, once the fire, fire marshal finishes his investigation, he and the inner city fire department will present their findings to the Jackson County Sheriff's Department. In Jackson County, Ray Daniel for 41 Action News.